What's up guys? Notorious here and today I'm gonna be presenting you guys a little bit of team deathmatch on Breach. Let's get this video started now. I think it's about to snow right now in Charlotte, North Carolina, and that is not a good thing because we are not used to snow as much in North Carolina and they just canceled class in school, so yeah, but anyways, I'm getting a little off topic, but today I'm gonna be talking a little bit more about the 49ers and what Chip Kelly has done ever since he's been the head coach of the 49ers. You know, he's made some pretty big moves as his uh tenure with the 49ers and you know Jed York has uh, stressed that Trip Kelly has full control of his coaching staff and you know he can fire people hire people do whatever you whatever he wants with the uh assistant coaches and you know he pretty much cleaned house thank god Jeep Christ is gone as the offensive coordinator man that was probably one of the most boring offenses you could ever find in the NFL and you know I'm glad he's gone you know I mean really ranked 30th and what yards and ranked 32nd pretty much last in the NFL and points scored so you know that was a good that was a good firing of Chip Kelly and you know a lot of people were gone I'm not gonna name all of them but pretty much everyone and I think the only people that stayed were like Mangini and uh, Tom Rathman you know former 49er uh, fullback halfback whatever you want to call him but he used to play with those 49ers with the when the team were a dynasty in the 1980s so I think for all you 49er fans you guys know who Tom Rathman is but Mangini uh, I don't Really wanted to be the defensive coordinator. I don't, I don't know. I mean, the first year it was, you know, pretty average defense. It wasn't, you know, something to be proud of. But it wasn't a horrible defense. But it wasn't the best defense. So hopefully, I think they should find another defensive coordinator. But I was hoping Jim Schwartz, but he's with the Philadelphia Eagles now. And you know, I think a really good candidate for the job would be Mike Pettin. You know, yeah, Mike Pettin. I know. I talked so much trash about him, but that's a head coach. I'm talking about as a defensive coordinator. This guy is a pretty damn good defensive coordinator i mean you know if you ever seen with the tenure with the uh new york jets man those were like one of the best defenses in the nfl when he was with the jets so yeah that's a that would be really cool to get him as a head as a defensive coordinator not as a head coach okay don't, don't let him touch the offense as well <laughs> but you know some of it wasn't his fault you know i i, I do uh, criticize him a lot but you know johnny manziel that's not his problem you know because he didn't want him in the first place anyway so yeah but um, the, you know, I hope Chip Kelly is going to do a good job in San Francisco. I keep saying that, but, you know, for all you 49er fans, you say this is a sucky hire. Well, you're going to have to deal with it because, I mean, you didn't hire the guy. J Jed York hired the guy, and we're going to have to embrace him, you know, just like how the Philadelphia Eagles have to embrace Doug Peterson as their head coach. So, you know, you, you really can't, you know, do anything special. All you can do is just hope for the best for the 49ers, and I think... You know, Chip Kelly, he could do good things. I think, you know, this is just speculation, you know. This is just opinions. You never have to agree with me. Totally never have to agree with me. But I think Chip Kelly can do a good job, you know, with the, you know, talent he has, with the roster he has right now. You know, he just signed a, um, a guy from the CFL, a star wide receiver. His name is uh, Eric Rogers to a two-year contract. So, you know, that hopefully it's a good hire. You know, it's like... It's like Jared Hayne, kind of, you know, like someone, uh, you know, out of somewhere different from the NFL, you know. He was from the rugby league. Now we got somebody from the CFL. So, so uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. And, you know, he, he said he's a Carlos Hyde fan. And, you know, he, that, that's that's a good sign. You know, he kind of likes the roster. And hopefully Colin Kaepernick can get along with him. You know, we don't know what the situation is between him and uh, Colin Kaepernick. But we'll soon find out and we'll see if the San Francisco 49ers decide to sign him by April 1st before they have to pay him like 13 million dollars for the salary cap so uh I think they should but you never know maybe Blaine Gabbert might be the better man in the offense you know in Philadelphia you know Michael Vick was a perfect fit for his offense because you know well theoretically just because um he's a mobile quarterback but he was kind of old so that's probably why it didn't work out as well and Nick Foles ran it Pretty good, you know, he had LaShawn McCord, Deshaun Jackson, you know, I'm not going to go through that, but Nick Foles, you know, 27 touchdowns, two interceptions, that's pretty damn good, so, yeah, but, 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 uh, Nick Foles and Sam Badford, as Skip wants to call him, I'll call him Sam Badford too, you know, he's not a bad quarterback, but he's a talented quarterback, but a really fragile quarterback, I, I do say so myself, but, you know, if he can make him, you know, I guess, okay quarterbacks, then I, I'm pretty sure he can do something with Colin Kaepernick. Hopefully he can revitalize his career in San Francisco and, you know, maybe one day take us to the Super Bowl. You know, I'm not, I'm not expecting the Super Bowl this year. No, 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 no. Maybe, you know, if they can keep contending, you know, if, if the offense can, um, 
can perform well, you know, like they did in Philadelphia, you know, ranked, I think, like, third or fourth in offense. But, you know, people, people do, ha I do have legitimate concerns about the defense, though, you know. I don't, I don't want this offense to be, you know, scoring touchdowns, like, really, really early, really, really quickly, or going three and out really, really quickly so the defense can, uh, to get some time to rest, you know, defense, you know, it's hard to play on the defensive side of the ball, you know, you gotta have a lot of energy to play that, and, you know, it's a legitimate concern that Chip Kelly might be running the offense a little too fast for the defense, you know, pretty good for the offense, but the defense, man, you know, they won't have time to j just breathe, you know, Philadelphia, you know, I heard a stat that, uh, they played three extra games of snaps just playing under Chip Kelly as a head coach last season before he got fired, so... You know, the defense is on the field a lot, but hopefully, you know, he makes some m modifications and hopefully he learns his lesson a lot. And from Philadelphia, you know, connect with the players, please connect with the players and, you know, don't be a cold hearted man. You know, don't show some compassion and some love for your players ship, you know, and, you know, he's he's a really good coach, you know, in my opinion, you know, a lot of people might disagree with me, but I think he's a good coach. I mean, you don't win two 10 win seasons like just like that in the NFL it, it's hard to win in the NFL let's just go with that and you know uh, he tried so he tried to experiment with the general manager duties and that did not work out in Philadelphia and we all know what happened with that so uh, and yeah ho hopefully this can go well and you know this is just a little update on the 49ers you know uh, he fired Jeep Christ you know the most important man the offensive coordinator thank God he fired him thank God that was, if he if he kept him around I would be pissed and you know Defensive, the only people that stayed in uh, San Francisco as the assistant coaches are Eric Mangini and Tom Rathman. I might be mistaken for one more person, but I'm not sure. But, yeah, those two are, I know for sure. But hopefully, you know, I hope we get Mike Penn. You know, I think he could fit well in this defense. And he's a r really, really good defensive coordinator, you know. Forget his Cleveland Browns, you know, head coaching or whatever fiasco. But, I, you know, I... You know, I kind of want him in the San Francisco 49ers defensive coordinator man. So we shall see. And yeah, but if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys enjoyed my little talk about the San Francisco 49ers, you 49er fans, please like and subscribe. And please comment on this video. You know, I encourage comments. Comments is what makes me love doing YouTube. I want to hear you guys. You, do you think this hiring is a good hire for the 49ers? Do you, what do you expect for the upcoming season and stuff like that? So yeah. Please do all that, and I'm going to catch you guys up in another video, and I hope the snow is going to come real quickly, or ice storm, whatever that's coming in Charlotte, North Carolina, so I'll catch you guys up later. Peace.